Hey guys, it is the 7th of October today. My name is Jess and you're tuned in to GameSpot News. A number of PlayStation 4 owners reported seeing Destiny pop up in their libraries, which would be a pretty normal thing except they hadn't purchased the game. A number of people were concerned their accounts may have been compromised, but as is the way with a bunch of ridiculous things that have happened lately, it's just marketing. Clicking on the Destiny the Taken King icon in your game library will simply bring you to the PlayStation Store and prompt you to download the game or its demo. Polygon have reported that this is happening as a result of the PS4's personalized and curated content feature. The PS4's website reads, the PS4 system has the ability to learn about your preferences. It will learn your likes and dislikes, allowing you to discover content preloaded and ready to go on your console, in your favorite game genres, or by your favorite creators. If you'd like to unsubscribe from this particular ability, you can uncheck the featured content box from the automatic downloads menu within your system settings. In Halo 5 things, the game has gone gold and we learned a bunch of new things about its forge mode. Microsoft has announced that the development on the shooter is now finished ahead of its October 27 release. Producer Josh Holmes clarified that the team is now working on a multiplayer content update, while an infographic has revealed that Halo 5's 15 mission campaign will take around 8 to 12 hours. Microsoft also published a meaty video outlining the game's map editing forge tools. Forge mode was originally introduced in Halo 3, and although it won't come to Halo 5 until December, it's looking to be worth the wait. In Halo 5, you can use Forge for any area or breakout map, but there are also three large maps designed to let you flex your creative muscles properly. Halo 5's Forge mode includes an improved control scheme, free camera, precision editing, over 1,600 objects, many with object enhancements, and the ability to select and manipulate up to 64 individual objects at a time. For the full list of changes and all the nitty-gritty details, you can can check out our story on GameSpot. It's been a little while since we've heard about Cyberpunk 2077, but now Set of Project Red have come out to say the game will be far, far bigger than The Witcher 3. Visual effects artist Jose Teixeira told MCV UK, Cyberpunk is far bigger than anything else that Set of Project Red has done before. He added, The Witcher helped Cyberpunk quite a bit, because the game got so big and so complex that it really taught us. We really didn't know what was going to happen. If anything, working on The Witcher 3 was a really good and often brutal learning experience. Cyberpunk is going to benefit greatly for it, I can almost guarantee it. Let me know down in that comment section if you're keen for Halo 5's Forge mode and why or why not. You can head to GameSpot where we've got stories on a rise of the Tomb Raider DLC pass and never before seen art for Fortress, the cancelled Final Fantasy game. That is everything I have for you today. As always, let me know what you cared about and I will catch you tomorrow. Bye -bye.